क्वेश्चन फाइव ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज सेज डी ई एंड एफ आर रिस्पेक्टिवली द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ साइड ए बी बी सी एंड सी ए ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी सो लेट्स ड्रॉ अ फिगर कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस स्टेटमेंट सो हेयर इज एन आर्बिट्री ट्राइंगल ए बी सी दैट आई हैव ड्रॉन एंड वी आर टोल्ड दैट डी इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए बी सो डी वुड बी हेयर E is the midpoint of BC, so E would be somewhere here, and F is the midpoint of CA, so F would be, let's say, here. And now we have to find the ratio of the areas of triangle DEF and triangle ABC. So let's complete triangle DEF by joining DE and F. So we have DE, we have then EF, and we have DF. so we have to find the ratio of areas of the small triangle def and triangle abc so let me first describe the logic that we will use to solve this problem so we will use the midpoint theorem and we will show that this small triangle def it's similar to the big triangle abc how well if we look at the sides of uh, def we can see that de using the midpoint theorem de will be half of the side ca of triangle abc similarly ef will be half of ab and fd will be half of bc so if you look at the ratio of corresponding sides of triangle uh, the small triangle def and the big triangle abc the ratio of corresponding sides will be the same and we can apply the sss similarity and say that the two triangles are similar and from there we can find the ratio of the areas easily because for any two similar triangles the ratio of areas is square of ratio of corresponding sides okay so this is what we are going to do to solve this problem so as i said using the midpoint theorem we can say that de this segment joins the midpoints of ab and bc so it will be equal to half of the third side so de will be equal to half of ca and ef will be equal to half of ab so as i'm writing this observe the relevant segments in the figure carefully and similarly fd will be equal to half of bc and the reason for all of these equalities is the midpoint theorem the midpoint theorem says that if you join the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle the segment you get will be parallel to the third side and equal to half of the third side okay now let's say that these equalities all of these form um the set of equalities one so from this set of equalities so from one we can now calculate the ratio of corresponding sides so we can say that de by ca so de by ca will be equal to half ef by ab will be equal to half and fd by bc will be also equal to half so de by ca equal to ef by ab equal to fd by bc all three ratios are equal to half and therefore the two triangles will be similar but what is the ratio of corresponding sides so um if you take the large triangle as abc then corresponding to vertex a we will have vertex e make sure that you understand this fact why corresponding to a it will be e and corresponding to vertex b we will have vertex f and corresponding to vertex c we will have vertex d this is the only way you will get um, these three ratios to be equal if if this is the correspondence of the vertices okay so the way we will write the similarity relation is triangle um, if we take the large triangle as triangle abc then we will have to write the vertices of the small triangle as efd so triangle efd is similar to triangle abc and we are using the sss similarity criterion to claim this similarity now let's make use of the fact that for any two similar triangles the ratio of areas is equal to square of ratio of corresponding sides 
and therefore the ratio of uh, area so ratio of area of efd by ratio of by area of abc so this ratio will be equal to let's take the ratio of um, any pair of corresponding sides so let's take de by ca the first ratio so this will be equal to de by ca and the square of this and de by ca is simply equal to half so we get half square or we get 1 by 4 so the ratio of areas is simply equal to 1 by 4 so let's write this the ratio we get is 1 by 4 or we can write this as 1 is to 4 so this is the answer the ratio is 1 is to 4 which basically means that uh, the area of the small triangle def is one fourth the area of the uh, large triangle abc now let me show you a slightly different way to solve this same problem so once again let's start with triangle abc let's take the midpoints def so d is the midpoint of uh, ab E is the midpoint of BC and F is the midpoint of CA and let's join the three midpoints to get this triangle DEF okay and now we have to find the ratio of areas of DEF and ABC so in this second approach what we will do is we will compare the triangle ADF which is this triangle to the big triangle ABC so let me highlight the big triangle also ABC this whole triangle and we will show that these two triangles are similar okay and from this similarity we will find that the ratio of triangle AD uh, the area of triangle ADF is one fourth the area of triangle ABC similarly we can then say that the area of triangle BED is also one fourth the area of ABC and the area of triangle CFE is also one fourth the area of ABC. So these three triangles put together will form three fourth the area of ABC, which will leave you with this triangle DEF, which will then be one fourth of uh, the area of triangle ABC. So this is what the logic that we will use uh, in the second approach. So let me write it now. So we, we are basically comparing ADF and ABC, the triangle ADF and ABC. And to show that they are similar, we make use of the midpoint theorem once again. So we say that DF is parallel to BC and also DF is equal to half of BC, correct? Because this is basically the midpoint theorem. Okay. And now if we compare the triangles ADF and ABC, so in triangle ADF, and triangle ABC how can we show that these two triangles are similar well this angle at A is common to both the triangles and then this angle at D in triangle ADF will be equal to this angle at B in triangle ABC because these are corresponding angles uh, because um, DF is parallel to BC okay so let's write this angle A is equal to angle A basically because this is a common angle and angle A D F is equal to angle A B C because these are corresponding angles and therefore the triangle A D F is similar to triangle A B C and this is basically the A A similarity criterion. All right, now let's make use of the fact that for two similar triangles, the ratio of areas will be the square of the ratio of corresponding sides. So now we can write the area of ADF by the area of ABC. This ratio will be equal because these two triangles are similar. This ratio will be equal to, let's take the ratio of any pair of corresponding sides. So let's take DF in the first triangle and BC in the second triangle so DF by BC whole square but DF by BC is simply half because DF is half of BC so DF by BC is half so we get half square 
or we get 1 by 4 correct so from here we can say that area of ADF is uh, equal to 1 fourth the area of triangle ABC and now similarly as I said earlier similarly we can say that the area of uh, triangle BED let me highlight this triangle also B E D would be this triangle let me use a different color B E D this would also be one fourth of A B C and then C F E would be C F E this triangle this would be also one fourth of uh, A B C so let's write this uh, these arguments so similarly the area of triangle B E D and the area of triangle CFE these two areas will also be equal to one fourth the area of triangle ABC okay so this means that the area of uh, the triangle ADF BED and CFE these three areas put together will be three fourth the area of triangle ABC so that leaves us with only tri uh, this area the area of triangle DEF and therefore we can say that the area of triangle DEF is the area of triangle ABC so the whole area minus three fourth the area of ABC so this will be one fourth the area of ABC so once again we find that DEF is one fourth of ABC or the required ratio is 1 is to 4 which is what we obtained in, in the first approach also so in the first approach we basically directly showed that triangle DEF is similar to triangle ABC using the SSS similarity and from there we found the ratio of areas in the second approach we took a slightly longer path we calculated the area of ADF of uh, BED and CFE in terms of the area of triangle ABC and we subtracted all these three areas from the area of triangle ABC to find the area of DEF so you can bo use both approaches both approaches are correct but if you ask me personally I prefer the first approach because it's much shorter and you can directly show that um, the smaller triangle is similar to the larger triangle using the SSS similarity okay so this completes question number five to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.